So after buying your first M1 16 inch or 14 inch MacBook Pro, you're wondering what else do I need? Well, I have seven items that you need to purchase immediately after you have received your MacBook Pro. So the first thing on my list is storage. I normally edit from an external storage, which is an SSD and not a R drive. I just use the R drive for the storage, but we get on that after I tell you that this is the perfect thing to edit from. Well, one of the cheapest thing to edit from, to be honest, because like it read and write up to 1050 megs per second, and that's pretty good. But up to 1050 megs per second, you need to protect your laptop. Cool. And in order for you to do that, you need a case but i purchased a case but it wasn't of my pleasing after using it because it's it's very smudged and i'm like yo why but i ordered a case that's coming soon and i had that one from my previous macbook which was a macbook 2015 and that case was nice but the greatest thing is that most of these cases comes with a keyboard protective skin material so oh, let me see if it can pop up which protects the keyboard just in case it might have a spill or anything like that but you need a case it's very important and also something that ah oh, oh, in my face and also something that covers the screen as well because you don't want any scrape or scratches this is where this comes in handy the Mokin 5-in-1 USB hub I love landline internet and normally I just like to plug and get direct internet and fortunately this comes with it. And unfortunately this comes with it. Can it pick up the face? No, it's too fine. Yeah, it comes with it. And not only it comes with that, it comes with an SD card port, a micro SD card port, two HDMI port, read one reads at 30 and one reads at 60. Yeah, get a USB type C hub five in one or more. So as we all know, the new 14 inch and 16 inch M1 MacBook Pro comes with an SD card port. And normally when it comes to choosing an SD card, I'm a Sony fanatic. So I normally use the Sony Tough Cards, the 40, the, the V60 versions, cause those are in my budget. And these are the Sony Tough Cards that are talking. Right, the speed, read and write speed is pretty good and based on the fact that yo it's fast enough to even work in your Sony a7 IV if you have one yeah you should get one so I'm a mouse guy I love to use mouse I don't like to use a touchpad so my mouse of choice is the MX Master 3 for Mac the advanced version where I can connect to my iMac or to another computer because I can connect to three different Bluetooth and yeah it's the build of it feels good and I can charge it and the mouse that comes with iMacs I hate it so I actually got it from my iMac but I use it on my MacBook Pro I love the design of it it's very nice it's very smooth you can see that the use of it it fits my palms very good oops almost dropped and I like the design again and this is how it fits my hands and I can just charge it right here and I'm good to go. So the final thing on my list is a desk pad. And I like to use a desk pad because I know that sometimes when I like just because the laptop and the portability, if I'm on a surface and the surface is not that smooth, I can just roll out the desk pad and just put the laptop and put down everything on it that I need. And I'm good to go. And it's easier to rub my mouse on it. So guys, so that's it. Those are some of the stuff you need to get whenever you purchase your MacBook Pro or any computer, well, your MacBook Pro. So guys, that's it. I'll see you in another video. I don't know when, I don't know where, I don't know what I'll be talking about. Peace.